going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to build and install the bed with the drawers in it, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do some measurements, some cutting, and hopefully I can get it all done today and then possibly put the carpet and stuff in. I don't know, we'll see how far we get. sixes. The problem is is that they're too short. I don't fit a wheel well and I want the bed frame to go all the way over. So I had to rip down another two by six is another three and a quarter. And that gives me exactly eight and three quarters which is the exact height of those. So I gotta screw them together and then put blocks in between each one. I don't know how well you can see this, but I only have three inch screws and smaller. Obviously that's not gonna work. So we're gonna have to countersink it, counter sink it somewhere around maybe halfway. That way so put that screw all the way down in there. We're gonna have to do that to everything. Cause, you know, I don't think half these projects through, I just start buying stuff and put it together and that's what we end up. But we'll make it work. So now all we gotta do is we gotta set them about where we want them, and then we're gonna measure from here to here, and we're gonna put bracing along the back, which is against that back wall up there, and then we might run possibly some two by fours along the top, but I hate to lose more height because this three quarter inch piece of plywood is gonna be the deck, but I need something to tie 
you know, these together from moving like this. So probably gonna run strips of two by four, maybe in four spots all the way across, but the very back, I wanted to put a butt edge all the way against it to give it more stability. As our blocks are installed, I'm gonna go grab some two by fours and we're gonna try to run some two by fours probably just across the length of this. Maybe in four spots, maybe five, it depends. So for the drawers, I ended up taking some scraps, cutting angles on them so when they, when they when you pull them out, and if they want to tip down some, when you go to push them back in, they're not going to catch on the runners that I put across. some plywood for some end caps to make it look halfway decent and then I need to get some handles I seem to forget those but I'm losing light I'm not quite sure how much more I'm gonna do or how much more I'm gonna film so now we're heading to Joanne fabrics because I need a mattress of some sort and I was thinking a foam one would be I don't know about perfect and I can cut it to the size that I want uh, Obviously, I'm not going to drive the Ranger or the Cummins down to Mishawaka, and it's raining. It seems like every time I go to do something, it's raining. It rained on that trip up north. It rained when I went to go get the cat. It rains now. It started raining when I was trying to build the inside. Like, it just rains in Michigan nonstop now. All right, so we're not buying foam from Joanne's, like that's, how's this gonna work? It's not gonna happen. Yeah, no, absolutely not. So I went and got a piece of foam. I didn't have it cut or nothing like that. It was just what they had in the shelf and it, it's like a two feet wide, two and a half feet wide. And it was only just over five foot tall. 
and they wanted $190 for it. I can just order a twin mattress off Amazon for like 60 bucks. So that's, I guess that's what we're gonna do. This was just a wasted trip. All right, so we're back here trying to finish this up. Uh, I ordered new, new clamps. Because for some reason I only had two of the original ones. Uh, so I got new clamps I'm installing. I got these LED light strips. They're gonna go probably a four right down the center right there. Uh, I took the rest of the little the tailgate cover thing off. This piece was already missing, uh, but it was just too thick. So my drawers, when I pulled my drawers out, they hit it. So I'm thinking about putting, I don't know, something there. I found what I think is stainless in my scrap pile. I brought it up to the house. Uh, might cut a piece of this and put it over there. Again, I just 100% feel like I'm copying Mav's truck or Mav, Mav's build, but I mean, it's a, he's got a good setup and everything he did is very, I mean, it makes sense. It's very well usable. So, but yeah, I think I'm gonna cut that down, maybe rivet that onto there. Uh, I've gotta order a mattress, obviously, because uh, I'm not spending all that money on a piece of foam. It's not gonna happen. All the new clamps are in. I got all the lights mounted. Uh, I gotta wire them up. I gotta figure out what I'm doing for power back here. I want a battery and a solar panel or a battery and maybe something that charges off my alternator. I don't know. When I get everything, all the accessories and everything I'm putting it done, I'll do a video of it completed. Uh, but thanks for watching guys. Uh, don't forget to like and comment, subscribe, let me know what you think of what I did. It uh, really helps the channel out. Uh, appreciate it guys. Until next time.